Hi everyone, Richard here. In my previous video, part 8, I showed you these nine Renaissance paintings, including three Raphaels, top row, that share the same proportions. Proportions that align with this geometry. In its simplest form, it's just a pentagon, pentagram, circle, with the sides of the pentagram extended down until they meet vertical lines drawn at the sides of the circle. A horizontal line where they meet forms the bottom. It's easy to imagine early artists using this simple geometry for the proportions of cathedral-shaped paintings like these. A fourth Raphael painting, The Marriage of the Virgin, also seemed to fit this geometry, though with the geometry set somewhat uncomfortably into the painting like this. To me, the way the tilt of the high priest's head aligns with the side of the inverted pentagram, and the way the circle and sides of the inverted pentagon and pentagram meet near the wedding ring appears deliberate. Though an imperfect fit, I was still inclined to think Raphael may have used this geometry for this work. At some point, however, I lined up the geometry with the sides and bottom of the painting and though the geometry extended above the top, it aligns with the elements of the painting in a more solid way. The horizontal side of the inverted pentagram now aligns with the floor of the temple as well as the horizon line. The high priest's head aligns with the side of the pentagram, and especially the lines of the circle and sides of the pentagon and pentagram now converge right at the wedding ring. Is this just a coincidence? As well, for me, the composition of the painting is much more satisfying with more sky over the temple and with a more fully developed cupola, which is no longer cut by the frame. As the painting now exists, exactly what Raphael intended for the top is unclear. The painting has a one and a half inch black border that continues all the way around the painting it's believed, however, that this border was added in the 19th century. Detailed photos can be found on a net that show the border had at one time been painted over part of the cupola, but has since been cleaned away. Photos also show the brushwork of the sky extending under the black border. So is it possible that the painting was cut down at some point? It wouldn't be surprising, I thought, if there were early copies of this work. If the painting had been cut down, depending on when that was done, perhaps I could find one that shows it unaltered. At first, the only hint I could find on the net was this small relief, described as being made with polychrome wax with later glazed wood frame. It appears old, but I've not yet found a date for its production. It does, however, show more sky above the temple, as well as a taller cupola. I continued to search, but didn't find anything until I did a search for After Raphael. Then I found this. Needless to say, I was astonished. It's a remarkably accurate copy of the Raphael, down to very fine details. Original on the top, copy on the bottom and astonishingly close to the original in the placement of all elements, figures, plaza, temple, everything. It's also nearly the same size as the original, and the proportions with the extended top is exactly how the geometry predicts the painting should be. A brief history of Raphael's The Marriage of the Virgin shows that it was commissioned by the Franciscan Church of Chita de Costello, and completed in 1504. It remained there for nearly 300 years. In 1798, Giuseppe Lecce acquired it after he liberated the city from Austrian occupation. The painting was apparently in the Lecce collection for a few years, then changed hands several times, its exact provenance being unclear. But in 1806, it was sold to the Italian state and has since been in Milan at the Pinacoteta de Brera, the picture gallery 
of the Brera Academy of Fine Art. The painting was severely damaged before its arrival in Milan, including several cracks in the upper half, so a major restoration of the painting was undertaken by Giuseppe Moltani. Moltani wrote a detailed report about his work on the marriage of the Virgin, and though that report states the painting was in very poor condition, it says nothing about the need to cut the painting down. He does, however, refer to a previous clumsy restoration during which, he states, battens were added to the back for support. Perhaps the painting had been cut down at that earlier restoration. As for the copy, I've been unable so far, I'm still trying, to contact the person who listed it on the net, so I know only a little about the painting. It was, however, posted with a few detailed photos. This one, of the edge, shows the painting is well-worn and clearly quite old. It also shows tacks used to attach the canvas to the stretchers. Cut tacks like these were first made in the late 1700s, which might suggest the copy was made after that time, but the tacks could have been from a later restoration. The post showing this work on the net does state that there are signs of some historical repairs to the copy. And this photo shows a name written on the back, Arthur W. Woods, but it's not known if this was the artist or a later owner. There appears to be no signature of the copy artist on the front of the canvas. I will try to discover more about this interesting and potentially important copy. Hopefully, its provenance can be traced back to its origin. Either way, is there any way of looking at it other than that it's a remarkably faithful copy of the original, unaltered painting? If it is, it certainly seems worth considering that Raphael used this geometry for the proportion of his painting as well as aiding in the composition. Could this, then, be close to how the marriage of the Virgin originally looked? I'll leave that question for you to ponder. Please stay tuned for more, and please like and follow me. Thanks. For information on my own work, please visit my website at rtdavis.com. You can also find me on Instagram at Richard Thomas Davis Artist. Thanks for joining me.